guy who was on a new team, uh, Kenny Galladay, joining the Giants as a free agent this offseason. Some would say he gets a downgrade at the quarterback position, going from Matthew Stafford to Daniel Jones. His receiving yards total set right at 1,000 and a half. Is he going to go over or under that one, Jeff? Uh, well, I know Kenny and I are agreeing on this. And yeah, it's a downgrade. It's a downgrade to Daniel Jones. Look, I'm taking the under here. I'm not trusting anything to do with the New York Giants or Daniel Jones. You look at the New York Giants wide receivers last year. Daniel Jones had so much trouble getting them the ball. You know, Darius Slayton coming off a nice rookie year. Didn't even crack 100 targets. His yards went down. Everything went down. Nobody on the Giants wide receiver core had over 100 targets. And look, yeah, Golden Tate is gone, but he only had about 52, 54 targets. How many targets is Kenny Galladay even going to get in this offense? And then you've got Saquon Barkley coming back as well. You know Jason Garrett and Joe Judge are just going to try and give him the ball just so they don't have to see Daniel Jones fumble four times a game. So I like Galladay. He's also had trouble staying on the field, though. There's no way I'm taking the over on this one. This is an under all the way for me. Stafford to Daniel Jones, it's that big of a downgrade, Kenny? Yeah, it is. And look, you want to go back to the two years that Daniel Jones has quarterbacked the Giants? How many times has a receiver had over 750 yards? That'd be zero times. This team is just adverse to having good receivers, it seems. Darius Slayton's a really good wide receiver, and they just can't put the ball in his hands. Daniel Jones' deep ball accuracy is really that spotty. He makes, like, one good throw every four games. People replay it. They put it on Twitter. They go Danny Dimes. But he throws, like, six dimes a year. That's the thing about him. He only has 60 cents, Daniel Jones. So I do think that this is not a good spot to take the over on Kenny Galladay, especially considering there are still a lot of receivers on that team to get the ball. They're going to run the ball a lot as well with Saquon Barkley. We've talked about this Giants offense before on the show. So yeah, I don't have to spend much more time talking about this. Jeff hit all the points. It's a big under.